cadmium, number one source of cadmium is secondhand cigarette smoke. So if you think secondhand cigarette smoke isn't dangerous, cadmium, among all the heavy metals, is the most carcinogenic of all the heavy metals. It, it's the most likely to cause cancer of any exposure to heavy metals. Uh, now, forever, the number one source of cadmium was, uh, was uh, secondhand smoke, but now cadmium is what we call a rising toxicant. It's being found more and more in the environment. In 1987, we started mass producing cadmium-containing batteries, NICAD and LICAD batteries. Those batteries eventually get used up, make their way into landfills, and now, after 30 years or so, they're finding their way into the water supply. Okay, so cadmium is what we would call rising toxicant. It was never found in the water table before, and now it's being found because of all these batteries that make their way into the landfills. And you guys really have to take a big picture view, a long view, when we talk about things like helping the environment. For example, uh, are they using, see these uh, little fluorescent lights they use now? They say they use less power, so therefore they're safer, right? Well, the fact is they are. They will last longer, they use less power. But they also will last longer in a landfill. And the type of chemicals that are used in their manufacturing will last longer in a landfill too. So what's going to happen in 10 or 15 years is these light bulbs start to build up. You want to make a comment? They also, have mercury. They also contain mercury, right. So uh, Jim Flowers is my researcher, so he can pipe in anytime he wants. <laughs> But uh, it's true. So we have a waste disposal problem, even though now the short term is a good idea. It's saving electricity and, and saving, uh, saving money. And so by saving electricity, therefore, it saves the environment. In the long haul, it's going to cause more toxicity in the environment. Uh, arsenic. Where does arsenic come from? And don't say spouse. Someone always says spouse. See, arsenic uh, certainly is in the drinking water in a lot of different countries, especially developing countries. Not a big issue in the United States, but our number one source of arsenic toxicity is actually from treated lumber. Wood that's used for outdoor use is treated with arsenic chloride as a pesticide to prevent termite damage. In fact, one 12-foot 2x6 contains enough arsenic to kill 200 adults. Very dangerous stuff. Uh, you you want to you start shaving the wood and putting in your guest drinks? <laughs> the problem really came when people started taking fence posts and things like that and were burning it, saying, oh, it's an old fence, we'll just burn it, and people were dropping dead or get, certainly getting very sick from arsenic poisoning. So it became a big educational thing. Anybody using out exterior wood had to be warned not to burn it when you're using it, when you're cutting it, to wear a mask. When you, I took this picture at Home Depot, right by my house. You know, it says, caution, arsenic is a pesticide applied to this wood. And then there's a big sticker on the wood itself that says, wash hands before eating. Great, you take the wood home, you build your decks. Where's the sticker? Why'd you take the sticker off? I bet you still have that tag on your bed that says, don't remove under penalty of law, right? And then your kids are crying. I know, because I tried to take that tag off my bed and my wife stopped me. She was, it says, don't remove under penalty of law. I'm like, it's my bed. <laughs> What's going to happen? The bedroom police are going to come and arrest me? <laughs> and yet we take that sticker off the wood that says this could kill your kids. And uh, our kids are playing on the decks. Our pets are eating chew toys on the decks. And they're eating off the wood on, on, the, uh, on the picnic benches. Now, our skin is a pretty good barrier against arsenic poisoning. What happens is you touch the arsenic and then you eat or you rub your eyes. And that's how the arsenic winds up in your body. And so the recommendation is if you have a picnic bench or you're going to eat on one of those wooden benches, put a tablecloth down. Or make sure your kids wash their hands before they eat. And don't eat off the wood. If you have pets, dogs or cats, don't give them any chew toys because they will slobber on it, they'll roll around in the wood, pick up arsenic, and they'll chew on it again. Okay, so don't let them play with chew toys on the uh, wooden deck. But right now, the number one source of arsenic toxicity to our children and companion animals is weather-treated wood used for decking, and used for picnic tables. So, everything I just told you is just the tip of the iceberg. I can't tell you how much more we do not know. Every day there are new chemicals being created, there are new chemicals added to the chemical abstract database, new chemicals being approved for their use in, in personal care products, in vitamins, and supplements, and food, and we don't know what that's going to mean in the long term. We just don't know. Plus, everything I'm just telling you is what we're exposed to on a daily basis in the food, in the water, in the air. But the fact is, we're born with a lot of toxins. A study conducted by the Environmental Working Group four years ago looked at, new, at umbilical cord blood from newborns, and they found, on average, over 200 toxic compounds. 
in that umbilical cord blood. Over 70 of the compounds were potentially cancer-causing, carcinogenic. Another thing to thank your mother for. Just kidding, moms. Not your fault. You're born with it. The fact is, since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, every single generation has been more toxic than the last.